What's on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I know I haven't uploaded for the past two days. Um, I've been so busy with sort of stuff. I haven't managed to record. I was going to pre-record some videos but I just didn't get around to it unfortunately. So I will apologise for that. But we are back nonetheless and we are back on S Tuna. And today I've got a build in mind that will blow some of you away it won't but it's going to be a very very cool car you can probably see by the uh, title what sort of car we're doing it's going to be a Supra reason being I haven't done a Supra yet which is kind of surprising um, yeah, it's one of the, the most popular cars ever the well, Mark IV Supra anyway so that's what we're going to be doing is the Mark IV Supra now I must say I'm a big fan of this. I love the Supra. Well, who doesn't love the Supra? Let's all be honest. And what we're doing before we start the video is I want to give a quick sort of, um, suppose you could say, shout out to Brandon. So if you're watching this, thanks, buddy. Um, basically, when I upload the out my S Tuner videos, I upload them to the uh, S Tuner Worldwide community, and on there he sort of um, spoke to me. He's given me a few little tips and tricks I can use to make my cars look better. Um, so that's what we're doing as well, is I'll sort of show you what he showed me. So what we do is go to um, import background, we go here, we want to get a background with sort of black line, white line, black box almost, and what this will do is add a better sort of shine sort of finish to the cars, um, so you can see that there, you will notice the aspect ratio is now locked to be a lot smaller, but all we can see there is go to lock slash unlock, brings it back out environment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to lighting rig reason being well you'll see why now you'll notice the floor is very boring it just looks a bit boring and yeah stuff like that but what we can do is toggle shadows change floor reflections no change reflections then floor reflections now you can see um already how much better the car looks it's got such like a smooth finish to it either glass looks amazing um it looks incredible so again thanks Brandon for showing us that um, I'll be using this for all of my builds now doing this sort of stuff I might even build them in here as well to be fair it looks a lot cleaner so that's what we can do again thank you now let's get on with the build of this car now this isn't going to be some sort of boring um, normal road car sort of Supra um, this is I'm going to try to go for like a thousand horsepower sort of build um, I think something like that would be quite cool so that's what we're going to do so we've got the coupe body because you don't want a target off or anything like that just standard coupe body stock um, guards and then this bonnet here with the massive gashes down it personally I just think it looks cool there's no other reason than that side skirt I'm going to go with FA1 I'm just going to get this nice like a much bigger sort of air duct in there uh, front bars I'm going to go with this one here BL reason being being a massive horsepower build you want a enough space for the intercooler to sort of go and sit so it's going to have like tons of air going through it so that's what we're going to do is put the intercooler there uh rear bars i'm going to go with this one here the dl now i was going to go with dx um but i just kind of i don't really like that i think that's quite weird this you still get little bits there but it looks a lot cleaner in my opinion so that's what we're going to go with um, so that's all the body parts. Quite a big fan. I like it. Um, just like I said, it's going to be a sort of massive horsepower build, so it's going to need lots of air to get into it, air ducts and stuff to cool the engine down as much as possible. Um, headlights. Jump on head there. Uh, what's that one? Drag. Oh, ho, ho, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even know that was a thing. So we're going to go with this one. Like I said, it's going to be a streetcar build. But um, I imagine because you've got these the other lights, that's an air duct there, but you've got that light, these three lights here, so it'll still be kind of road legal, I think. I think it would be in, um, in England anyway. So we're going to go with that one. I was going to go with it, these, these here, but I found out that that one's a lot cooler. So we're going to go with that one. Tail lights, I'm going to go with this one. Reason being, I don't like these ones because it matches the same colour as the car. I mean, some people might like that. No, not for me. Stunning glass ones. There's even a reflection on those, look. 
well, uh, spoilers. Um, I'm going to go with this one here simply because I think it matches the build. Because you want a big spoiler for downforce, but because it's a street car, I'm not going to have some sort of bolt on wing on the back. Um, I think something like that suits it quite nicely. So that's going to be it for the body parts. Now we're going to go over to our exhaust. Now with this, it looks so tiny, doesn't it? So my idea is I'm going to make it a massive, massive cannon of an exhaust. There we go. That is more like it. I hate it. All that anti-lag flames to pop out. Uh, left and right. Make sure we get right. And down one, and down a little bit. There we go. So we have a massive, massive cannon of an exhaust. Um, it's like, in fact, that's like a turbine on the back. It's huge, like a turbine sort of um, jet engine, sort of for a bike. It's massive. So we can go with that. And then for the intercooler, I'm surprised I actually landed where I did. Uh, we're going to go for number one. Maybe this one here. Well, you had that weird noise, my door nearly opened. So, we have this here, and again, it looks tiny, of height, uh, object assembly, obviously. Uh, then, just bring it up. Like that. And, hold it. So you want to make it almost as big as you can. Get that position, up and down. That's sort of a huge front mount intercooler there because you want all the air to rush through and like get get into the intercooler, cool the turbo down, and all that sort of stuff. This huge, massive horsepower build that's gonna be it for all the parts, though. Fairly basic. Uh, now I'm gonna go to wheels and I want kind of um, drag type wheels. I think the best are sort of these ones here, A star. I think they look. They suit the sort of build we're going for best as possible, like drag wheels, but also road wheels. Now what I'm going to do differently is because the wheels aren't necessarily going to be the same sizes and stuff. So you're going to go to front and then shrink it down to about 16, I'd say. And then tire profile, bring that down uh, to about, yeah, probably about 35. Yeah, 35. Camber, literally like 5 maybe. No, you can go 4, I reckon. 3. Okay, apparently we're going for three and then offset just a tiny bit and then rear wheels this is where it gets interesting we are going to shrink the wheels down to about 16 but tire profile is going to be huge camber angle tiny amount like two maybe and then offset so much we can bring it out like there because of course being a super rear wheel drive all the power is going to the rear wheels so with a massive horsepower build, you want as much grip as you can. Best way to do that is to stick massive tires on it. And the suspension, I'm going to rake it like that, and then we'll lower it. Something like that. So you can sort of, that's, I think that's two drag cars, so you bring it off a bit, and maybe lower it a bit more. There we go. Now, you'll notice this wheel, to me anyway, seems a bit far up. Um, off center, so we'll just go to here. One, here. There we go. That looks a bit better. So now it looks mean. Like if you saw this on the street, no matter what car you're, you could be in a Ferrari. I wouldn't mess with this. We all know Supras destroy everything when it comes to horsepower. <coughs> so that's the uh, main build of the car. Uh, car colors. I'm going to be a bit boring. I know. I'm going to go with the white. Uh, lovely white and then paint paint part I'm gonna paint that black so it gives it a sort of a carbon fiber type look it looks quite nice there we go can I paint that I have the entire wing I thought I was, if I could paint that middle bit that'd be quite cool but I can't I've got to paint the entire wing so I won't do that so there we have the colors I'm gonna have the color of the wheels I'm gonna go with a red actually red and then a bit of black just like that and then face uh, back again there we go Ooh. don't know about you but I love this sort of look of a super I think 
this is uh, especially huge horsepower build this is a look you want to go for you want people to know you're packing power uh, interior so mist light up windows interior i'm going to go with a basic sort of interior so it's about four this blocky looks more race car -y. Again, it's going to be stripped out and stuff. Um, these seats, I don't always go with these seats, but I think they just look the best. Um, like they suit at anything. You go, no matter what build you're doing, they sort of suit it really nicely. So I'm going to go with those again. No back seat, door trims. Four. Was it four or five? Five. Yep, so five is literally just the handle there. That's all you need. Four, it's the most race spec. And then I would prefer that gearbox. So we can go with that one. Now it's time for the colours, I know this bit's boring. But yeah, this sort of build you want a basic interior, as basic as you can get really. Because you want the car to be light so it you know, can hold all that power. Well, so it also so it's faster, you know, less weight, less the engine sort of gonna struggle. There we go. Now I've gone red again, but I'm trying to match the wheels and stuff, so go away the blue. And then I'm going to put a little bit of tint on. There we go. And then I'm going to sidewall lettering. Um, I know I've done this yet um, last time, but this is the best tire company there is, I'm telling you. There we go. So again, people now know you're packing racing tires it's got the rate height massive rear wheel like i said it's also gonna be a road car build so it's gonna be very sort of you know you can drive this on the road um just destroy everything in your way now what i'm going to do is i actually discovered this while messing around if we go to number plates right get the little square bit here and i'm gonna look ready like that and then you know this is one on the back here don't know how to get rid of it apart without doing this. Um, yeah, so I don't have to do that unfortunately, which sucks, but can't do much by it. And then, oh, nearly perfect. There we go. Bumpers will line up again. Now, this, yeah, I found out some messing around doing this. Go to um, forward and back. You want to just get it in the intercooler. And you'll notice it sort of stays in there like that so if we go to scale height and then width like that and position and down up and down yeah you get this intercooler you can see it says Greddy which I think that's so sort of cool and it's the wires a little bit off but I can't do much about that but no it's so cool because then it looks like it's actually a rather than a box down intercooler it's sort of more of a performance one um, and yeah I just was messing around and sort of found out that you could do that which I thought was quite cool but that is interior and bodywork done and now it is time for the engine this is where things get interesting so if you didn't know 2J I mean if you didn't know everyone knows Super's packing the 2J um, probably one of the best engines in the world honestly it's such a reliable yet powerful engine so here we go, grab that one, intake manifold, huge turbo, because you know we want that choo choo power. And I'm going to go down here, going to go 2J, and I'm going to rock front rest then. That one, sorry, I thought rocker covers was front rest then. Brain malfunction. Um, Thumbs that there. And here, yeah, well, I'm going to go for a popular 2, I think. So we'll do that. Um, I think we can move it up and sort of put it closer to. Yeah, can't we? Don't have to. Sort of left and right. Nope. It's quite that. Uh, I don't. Our engine assembly left and right. There we go. Edit part. Hopefully then drag the engine back in. Just the side of it. 
Then if we go to object group, there we go. So all I want to do is we could probably rotate it that way, move up, and then round like that. Possibly position. Go up, 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 up. And forward and back. Take not like that far, obviously. Now you can see it just poking through with the light there. So again, getting air going to the uh, turbo, sort of bringing on all the air from the uh, outside. Because I mean, power like this, you want as much cool air going into the engine as you can. And then that's gonna be it for the build, roughly. Um, in fact, the other radius that semi fans, and then I'm gonna go to gearbox. There we are. Now we're gonna go to colors, and you know how it works. Just bring this down. Yeah, I sort of messing around. And I thought, why haven't I done a super build yet? So this is exactly what we're doing today. Is a huge horsepower super build. And white actually. Walk out like that. Filter. Put a filter in red so it looks more like a filter. And front dress, bring it down in colour a bit. Pipes are gonna be red again. Because of originality. Right, so filter to power added. Now you see it goes straight to the turbo. And then power added to two. It's gonna go through there, isn't it? there we go to intercooler one two throttle body through there again so let's go to two aha now I know what's happened so again add engine move out click on there edit part some engines we left I'm trying to get that Oh well, I actually got it. And then group, forward and back. Don't want it that far forward, maybe there. Part and forward and back. There we go. Well, that's just behind the intercooler there. It's probably gone too far actually. I've just noticed that. Oh well, that's fine. Won't bother about that. But that's going to be the build. The engine's done. Everything like that. I'm going to leave it in here just so you can see the awesome floor reflection. But before I finish the video up, I'm going to do something cool. You'll notice the turbo is through the engine, but what I'm going to do is that, and then that, and position, go up, and then forward and back, and then need more rotation actually. Rotation, like that position forward and back if I can I go left and right bring it out and down move this in the air and down and there forward and back nope one left and right get into the car there so standing up the bonnet onto the uh next to the engine there so you can sort of see all the engine if that makes sense um, the turbo is not poking through now which I think you know a lot better um, but yeah that there we have it in fact I'm going to turn the steering that way so there we have it the turbo build for today or turbo build super build um, like I said I'm surprised I haven't built a super yet um, you know well it was an end of all really. I was going to have to do it at some point, wasn't I? But there we have it. Quite proud of this. I do like big horsepower super builds. Um, I think it's sort of really, really sort of cool. In fact, you can literally stick so much power in a um, six cylinder. Because you think about it, like normally if someone says it's got a thousand horsepower, you think of a V10, V12, V8 even. Or you know R35 V6. I'm not really an inline six, but I, there we have it. I think it looks really cool. Um, I love the bonnet on the side. That I sort of 
again messing around and sort of stuck that there i thought yes that was good but yeah that's gonna leave this episode here i hope you did enjoy um again sorry i didn't upload for the past two days but what can you do and again to brandon thank you for showing me sort of little uh, tips and stuff um but yeah it's gonna leave that here hope you did enjoy if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe like and give us a comment any cards you want me to do any builds or anything like that and then yeah more than happy to sort of uh, do those sorts of builds but yep yeah, thank you for watching until next time bye bye